What if I told you that mathematics can help us see the invisible? Today, we'll explore hidden Markov models, a mathematical tool that helps us uncover hidden patterns that we cannot directly observe. But before we dive into hidden Markov models, let's look at something simpler. Let's look at Markov chains. Imagine we have three possible states, red, green, and blue. Every state connects to every other state, including itself, and each arrow also has a probability which shows what's the chance of moving from one state to the other or remaining in the current state. For instance, if we are in the red state, there is a 30% chance we stay in red, a 50% chance we move to green, and a 20% chance we move to blue. Similarly, green has a 60% chance of staying in green, a 30% chance of moving to blue, and a 10% chance of moving to red. And finally, blue has a 80% chance of staying in blue, and a 10% chance of moving to either red or green. We can further represent this system with an initial state vector, which shows us the probability of starting in each state. 30% of being in the red state, 20% of being in the green state, and 50% in being in the blue state. And we can put all the transition probabilities between states in a matrix called, you guessed it, the transition matrix. Now, we can use this system to have a holistic view of what happens when you move from one state to the other at each step. If we perform one step, we have a 16% chance of being in the red state, a 32% chance of being in the green state, and a 52% of being in the blue state. After two steps, we have a 13.2 chance of being in the red state, a 32.4 chance of being in the green state, and a 54.4 chance of being in the blue state. Eventually, as we perform this step again and again, we reach a steady state where the probabilities no longer change significantly, which for our system here is 12.5% for red, 30% for green, and 57.5% for blue. Now, here is where things get interesting. In a standard Markov chain, we can observe the current state directly, but what if some states are hidden from us? Let's say that how a person feels inside, either sad or happy, in some observable states that we can see, let's say that the color of the hat he or she wears today, either red, green, or blue. In this figure here, we will depict our initial vector state where we have a 60% chance of being in the sad state and a 40% chance of being in the happy state. The sad state then has a 70% chance of staying in sad and a 30% chance of transitioning to happy and the happy state has a 60% chance of staying happy and a 40% chance of transitioning to sad. What makes hidden Markov models special is that each hidden state has a different probability distribution for generating observable states, called the emission probabilities. If the hidden state is sad, there is a 10% chance of observing a red hat, 40% chance of observing a green hat, and a 50% chance of observing a blue hat. However, if the hidden state is happy, there is a 80% chance of observing red, a 10% chance of observing green, and a 10% chance of observing blue. And again, these are called the emission probabilities. Finally, let's consider a 5-day observation example. Imagine we observe this sequence, green, blue, red, red, and green again. The question now becomes, what's the most likely sequence of hidden states, sad or happy, that could have generated these observations? Mathematically, we are trying to find a sequence of modes, M1 through M5, that maximizes the probability of our observed colors C1 through C5, and the modes M1 through M5, which is the joint probability of the modes and colors. After running our inference algorithm, we could find, for instance, that the most likely hidden state sequence is sad, sad, happy, sad, and happy again. Then, this sequence would explain our observed data based on the transition and emission probabilities we define, and it's calculated efficiently using the Viterbi algorithm, 
and we'll talk in depth about that in the incoming videos. To sum up, compared to Markov chains, hidden Markov models use two types of states, one that we observe and one that is hidden, which is invisible to us. And this model has applications in speech recognition, natural language processing, bioinformatics, time series, and more. And in future videos, we'll explore in more depth algorithms like Viterbi, Forward Backward, and Bound Welch that make hidden Markov models even more powerful by optimally solving the problems of decoding, evaluation, and learning. And that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you found this explanation helpful and subscribe to be up to date with the incoming videos about hidden Markov models. See you in the next ones. Bye bye.